All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shah is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world knows as Jesus Christ. And I want to give double honor to all the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the whole elect, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. May the Most High bless you with His gracious mercies. And today, this letter will be titled, you um rebellion and um little faith israelites you know and i'm gonna um start in numbers 14 because this this well it started 13 i'm gonna get um 13 and 25 because that's the point because this the, it was about you know when they went and searched out the land when we was gonna you know cross over into the promised land but Y'all, y'all was rebelling against the Lord, man. You had little faith. You, you, you really was scared, and you know, and that's with the day, man. That's all with the prophets out doing the day. They prophesying to you and telling you, man, giving you one another Lord, man, telling you to turn back into the heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, you know. But your your faith is so little, and you scared, and you just love it here so much, you you mock and you scoff and you rebel against the Lord. And ultimately, your faith is little. You don't you don't believe in it, you know. And that's how it was, you know, in this story when they were trying to switch over. You know, you had um, you know, Caleb them searched out the land and came back with the report, and they and, you, and they faith was little, man. They were they were scared. And I'm gonna start right here in um, Numbers thirteen and twenty five, and they returned from searching of the land after 40 days and they went and came to moses and to aaron and to all the congregation of the children of israel unto the wilderness of paran to kadesh and brought back word unto them and unto all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land and they told him and said we came unto the land with the thou sentest us, and surely it flow with milk and honey, and this is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land, and the cities are wild and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the south, and the Hittites and the Jebusites and the Amorites dwell in the mountains, and the Canaanites dwell by the sea and by the coast of Jordan. And Caleb stilled, and Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. And that the spirit we gotta be in, man. We know we're gonna overcome this place, man. You know, we ready to get the hell up out of here, man. We know we're gonna overcome this, man. That's why we gotta endure to the end, man, and put on as the elect. You know, that's the spirit we got to be in the spirit like Caleb. Caleb, like, you know, we're going over, we to overcome them. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas, man, you know, fuck them. Third one. But the men that went up with them said, we be not able to go up against the people for they are stronger than we. And that's the spirit, man, that, that these wicked ass niggas in, man. They like they think that, you know, Esau got it, man. That's their daddy. They don't want to go against Esau, man. They just think, man, Esau is the, that's just it. You know, and they brought up an evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land, though which we have gone to search it, is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof, and all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. And there we saw the giants, the son of Anak which come of the giants and we were in our own sight as grasshoppers and so we were in the sight salaki and so we were in their sight and you see that just your faith being a little man you, you you really didn't trust in the lord man you didn't think that the lord was gonna protect you from them wicked ass niggas man you know but like the scripture say there's nothing impossible with the lord you know, they, you know, like the brothers, Caleb, them, they went over and the Lord lifted up that standard, man. They slaughtered all of them and took over the land. They prayed to the Heavenly Father and he kept the sun up for them for 24 hours. That's how much killing was going on. 
Now, right here in 14, Numbers 14 and 1. And all the congregation lifted up their voice and cried, and the people wept that night. And all the children of Israel murmured against Moses and against Aaron, and the whole congregation said unto them, Would the Most High that we had died in the land of Egypt? Or would the Most High we had died in this wilderness? You see, that's how they, man, and that's the same way Jake think. Now, Jake think, like, man, we just going to, you know what I'm saying? They just going to live and die here in America, man. They don't have no faith, man. They love Babylon. They they don't got the vision, you know. We can we can see the promised land, man. You know, we, we ready to go. We like, we in the spirit of Caleb, man. We like, man, we going to overcome this shit, man. We know we, you know what I'm saying? Uh, numbers 14 to 4 And they said one to another Let us make a captain And let us return into Egypt And and that's And that's the mindset that these Wicked ass niggas in today man They just want to stay here man they love it here We gonna, we gonna stay in Egypt Then Moses and Aaron fell on their faces Before all the assembly Of the congregation of the Children of Israel And Joshua the son of Nun And Caleb the son of Jephna which were of them that searched the land, rent their clothes. And you see, man, that's just how wicked you was, man. Joshua and Caleb, they, they pissed. Moses and Aaron, they dropped down and cried, man, in front of the nation. You know? And they spake unto all the company of the children of Israel, saying, The land which we passed through to search it is an exceeding good land. If Yahweh delight in us, then he will bring us into this land and give it us a land which flow with milk and honey. You see that you know what I'm saying? That's that's that confidence in the Lord. Man, he said the Lord delight in us, he gonna give us this land. Only rebel not ye against Yahweh, neither fear ye the people of the land, for they are bread for us. <laughs> that the fence is departed from them. And Yahweh is with us, fear them not. And that's the spirit that we got to be in, man. You know, because Esau finna get ready to come down with that persecution, man. That great wrath, man. And that's the spirit that we got to be in, man. He say, fear ye the people. No, he say, neither fear ye the people of the land. That's how we got to be, man. We ain't worried about Esau and his robot dogs or none of that what he got going on. For they are bread for us. And You know what I'm saying? They, they, they lunch, man. They're going to be lunch when the Lord lift up that standard again, you know. I'm going to go into this word bread just to see what it says. So like. You know what I'm saying? You fool, man. You, you, you know what I'm saying? You are nothing, man. They say they bread, man. Say to fight, do battle, make war. So, you know what I'm saying? When Esau try to come down with that great rap, man, the Lord going to give certain men spiritual powers to go to war with these devils. And y'all going to be, and they going to be bred, man. They're going to be bred to us, Lord willing, you know, we get them powers. You know what I'm saying? 10. But all the congregation bade stone them with stones, and the glory of the Lord appeared in the tabernacle of the congregation before all the children of Israel. You see how wicked them niggas is, man? They give you encouraging words. As the prophets do today, give you encouraging words to warn you of Yahweh and Yahweh shine. And that's the same thing you're doing now, man. Instead of with stones, you using you using your, your lips, man. You just talking smack. You just walk by scoffing. You know what I'm saying? Just talking shit. You don't even believe. You you just stupid, man. And to the Lord, I'm peeling to y'all. But this time, it's going to be, you know, with a robot dog or apparition or star the devil. That's how the Lord going to appear to y'all. And then ultimately, your house shot going to come back with the angels and slaughter everything. You know? But Lord willing, we are of that number to make it, man. We got that, Lord, you know what I'm saying? Lord willing... We carry this faith as Caleb, man, and Joshua. We ready. We we know we can overcome this, man. That's the spirit that we got to be in, knowing that we gonna overcome this and we gonna get our land back. Get the fuck up out of here. 
And it said, back to 10 again, but all the congregation bade stone them with stones. Nothing to go to that where it bade stones, man. And you know this Jake, man. You know how Jake get down. See, say bade to speak. You know, they went to talking, man. Went to talking smack, man, man. You know what I'm saying? Jake ass, man. They just went to talking crazy, man. And, and probably literally was out there throwing rocks, man. It said, bay stone with stones. And the glory of Yahweh appeared in the tabernacle of the congregation before all the children of Israel. And Yahweh said unto Moses, how long will this people provoke me? And how long will it be ere they believe me? For all the signs which I have shown among them. And the Lord, he's showing signs today, man. This went going on, speaking for myself personally. When I was a kid, you didn't see the brothers out on the highways and byways down here in Birmingham, Alabama, man. You know, the elders and apostles up in New York, they was getting it in. But how it spread it worldwide, man. That's the Lord, man, showing, you know what I'm saying, signs. It's a sign, man. Like, that should, that should open your eyes up, you know. But that's Jake's problem. Jake think this is just, you know, a, a, a new religion that, that somebody just came up with. This, this is not no false God as y'all worship Jesus and Buddha. This is not that, man. This is the living and true power of this entire universe. 12, I will smite them with the pestilence and disinherit them and will make of thee a greater nation and mightier than they. And see, the Lord was ready to kill our nation off, and he was going to start over with Moses. But Moses, you know, he denied it. And Moses was like, no, Lord, we ain't, you know what I'm saying? He ain't gonna, we ain't going to do that, Lord. You know? And Moses said unto the Lord, then the Egyptians shall hear it, for they brought us up, these people, in thy might from among them, and they will tell it, to the inhabitants of the land, for they have heard that thou, Yahweh, art among these people, that thou, Yahweh, art seen face to face, and that they, Salaki, and that thy cloud standeth over them, and that thou goest before them by daytime in a pillar of a cloud and in a pillar of fire by night. Now, if thou shalt kill all these people as one man, then the nations which have heard the fame of thee will speak, saying, Because Yahweh was not able to bring these people into the land which he swore unto them, therefore he have slain them in the wilderness. You know, and ultimately that, that was just an honorable thing. Because Moses, he could have been like, you got to think about it. Moses could have been like how these niggas is today. Like, shit, hell yeah, Lord, it's going to be all me, my nation. You know what I'm saying? But Moses... He, you know what I'm saying? He 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 spake he spoke up for us, man. And now, so like it, um, seventeen numbers fourteen and seventeen. Now and now I beseech thee, let the power of Yahweh be great, according as thou hast spoken, saying Yahweh is long suffering, and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgressing, and by no means clearing the guilty. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children upon unto the third and fourth generation. You see? And and this and this Moses, man, he 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 smooth talking to the Lord for us, man. You know, the Lord, he long suffering, man. Great mercy, forgiving iniquity. And that's what we praying and hoping that the Lord be long suffering with us and forgive our iniquity, man. So we can make it into the land. Pardon, I beseech thee. The iniquity of this people, according unto the greatness of thy mercy, and as thou hast forgiven this people from Egypt even until now. And Yahweh said, I have pardoned according to thy word. And that's beautiful, man, to know that we have somebody that just love our nation that much, even how wicked you is. That's how wicked you is. Moses took up for us and asked the Lord to pardon it. And the Lord said, it's pardoned. Because of that, according to thy word. 
You know, and that's what we praying and hoping for now, man, to be part of it. So, like, I read out my book, too. That's why I ain't scrolling. And go to the word pardon to forgive, you know. And we praying for the Lord forgiveness. 21. But as truly as I live, all the earth shall be filled with the glory of Yahweh. Because all those men which have seen my glory and my miracles, which I did in Egypt and in the wilderness and have tempted me now these 10 times and have not hearkened to my voice. Surely they shall not see the land which I swear unto their fathers. Neither shall any of them that provoke me see it. But my servant Caleb, because he had another spirit within him and have followed me fully, him will I bring unto the land where into he went and his seed shall possess it. And Lord willing, man. The Lord bless us with that same blessing that he blessed Caleb with, man. You know, and you see, man, you wicked ass niggas that, that, that provoke the Lord and you see his miracles, man. You see the chairs. You see the videos being posted. You see the prophets out there on the highways and byways. And you still don't hearken unto the Lord, you know. And, and, and you know, 10 represents perfection. So, the Lord, he man, the Lord been having this truth out here, man, for years, man. You know, for years, man, I'm, you know, man, the Lord been out having the truth out here for years, man. You know, starting from the head apostles, you know, on down. Abba Bivens, you know, King Masha, um, you know, uh, El Apostle Taha, and, and all the other uh, men on them, Raka, El Apostle Raka, El Apostle Ramla, you know, and all the apostles that he got spread throughout the whole world, man. And you can see the Lord miracles and, and, and signs. Now you still don't hearken unto the Lord, man. And he says, surely they shall not see the land which I swear unto their fathers. And that's going to be a hurtful, a hurtful, you know, a hurtful thing not to see the land. So, Lord willing, that the Lord bless us to be the ones, you know, to see the land as he blessed Caleb. To see the land and let our seeds possess it on the first um, resurrection. We don't want to have to die here in America to be reborn again, you know, into our beautiful promised land. Lord willing, we are of the elect so we can make it that first go round, you know. So don't be rebellious or or um, or have little faith, man, you know, hearkening to the Lord and have faith that he's going to protect us and our families and bless us with our land again. We just got to do the will of the Lord and, you know, and hold fast to this truth, you know. And Lord willing, this video is edifying to you, brothers and sisters. And with that, I'm going to say, Call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah and Shalom.